My name is Jamie Clayton and I work for Inventus Rail Limited. My role is an assistant design engineer, so I look at the book wirings for the trains and modify them, and I also program the data that goes on the trains. My dad works as an engineer and he used to work here actually, um, so he found out about the apprenticeship scheme and told me about it. And I knew from my dad working that it's got a lot of job security and it'd be quite challenging intellectually and everything. It's not something you can just walk into and know. You have to sit down and learn and look at the circuits and ask people what the symbols mean. And it's really complicated. When I first walked in, I was like, oh, I don't understand any of these. But now, having had the support and the help, and ask people and go on special like courses at lunchtime and stuff to get the knowledge, it's a lot easier. I've got a 20 month old daughter called Chloe. Obviously, I've got to balance my life with her and my work life, which is quite difficult sometimes, but you know that you're doing the best for your child so that it doesn't compromise anything. I just think. Yeah, you can't really choose a better career, really, and it can lead you anywhere. And you've just got to push yourself, and the harder you push yourself, the further you'll get. I'm Kelly Walker, and I work for Eon New Build and Technology as a combustion engineer. I provide technical support to EON's coal and oil-fired generating fleet throughout Europe and also to external customers. I'm really passionate about green energy, integrating biomass fuels into coal-fired power stations. When I was at university and I studied fuels and combustion and also renewable energies, I realised that the two are interlinked. Through the integration of biomass fuels, we can offset 10% of the coal that the power station would have previously burnt. You consider that over the remaining life of the plant and on several power stations throughout Europe or even globally that I've been able to affect through my technical assessment and recommendations. I really enjoy the fact that every day that I come to work, I'm getting a little bit closer to making a difference. It's interesting to always be meeting new people, new power stations. Each power station has a different problem. I really enjoy triathlon training, sometimes triathlon competitions. The variation means that you're constantly challenged and there's always room for improvement. I've been lucky enough to work with some of the most experienced combustion engineers in the UK, and even they don't have all the answers. I find that it's really satisfying to know that you're never going to stop learning. My name is Lorianne Benner. I work for PME Process Control. We're based in Peterborough, but we have factories across the United Kingdom. Currently, I'm working in the reliability department. I carry out thermal imaging, oil sampling and vibration analysis to monitor the machines and be able to tell if there's an issue or fault. And this can then be planned into when the machine can be taken out and the fault can be fixed. 
The person who inspired me most to go into engineering was probably my granddad. He was a mechanical engineer in the RAF. Unfortunately, he died a couple of weeks before I actually got the yes from peeing me. But um, it's always felt that he's been with me the whole time. He's always inspired me. I've done some work in various media campaigns, including radio and some of the local newspapers. I'm going into a school later this year to talk about women in engineering. Since I was 10, I've been doing charity fundraising events. So far, I've helped raise £25,000. And this year, I actually took part in an 88-mile walk. I think there's something about me I've got to keep busy. I'm Charlotte Joyce. I'm currently the only female engineering officer in the UK attack helicopter force. Basically, any component that isn't up to the required specification means I have to go and look at it and to assess whether the aircraft can in fact fly. The main part of my job is uh, the management of risk. Happy with that? When we're in barracks, it's very easy. Uh, we don't take unnecessary risks. When we're deployed on operations, by grounding an aircraft, you're not providing um, cover for troops in combat on the ground, and that's when your decision-making process has to be really robust. In the past 12 months, I've deployed to both Afghanistan and uh, in Libyan territorial waters, and my role was leading the engineering team embarked on HMS Ocean to provide serviceable aircraft uh, for those precision strikes. We really thrive in the high-pressure environment. Um, it's what really makes us, us do our job well. Um, we're lucky, really, that, uh, that we train at quite a high pace. I've played quite a lot of sports in the 10 years I've been in the Army. And recently, I've really enjoyed orienteering events, um, which is running with a purpose is a short way to put it. I've always been a very focused person. However, being in the military, has given me that extra level, really, um, of the commitment and also the commitment to others. And I've really thrived on that responsibility. My name's Natasha Carpenter. I live in East London near City Airport. I work for Cable and Wireless. I'm a field apprentice engineer. I'm a single mum. I've got a son called Javon. Sometimes it's difficult to balance um, motherhood and my career. It took a lot because I knew I was doing this to, to better our future. Let me just. My job is providing services for customers, installing routers for customers to be able to get onto the internet for instance or have a telephone line. A job that sticks out to me um, I think was I was with another engineer and this time the engineer said to me oh you're doing this one. The customer that the look I got was like you're a woman what are you doing here? Got their systems upgraded and everything was fine and when I was leaving it's just the smile on my face just to like say yeah like we can do it as well. I was featured in the Daily Mail how I got into the business and I, I got the paper and and there I was it was it was a big shock and it was a big achievement. Just so other women know the opportunities that you have um, even if you have kids everyone has personal commitments you don't have to give that up. I went for it and I, and I got it.